I wanted to do a video of Kevin. Um, I'm fundraising for Kevin. He's a feral cat, and so he's all tucked away. We just got back from the vet. He's tucked away in his trap. It's covered because feral cats like to be in covered areas. So um, now I'm gonna undo this trap so that he can have room to move when he's feeling comfortable. Um, but he just got back from the dentist. Uh, here, let me uncover this a little so you can maybe see him. The little guy there. Um, so he had 18 teeth removed and there were five teeth that were already gone. He has seven teeth left and they also had to remove some of the roots from his teeth because his teeth were in such bad shape. So all of that cost me $506 and um, we you know, had to do some other surgery on him the other day, insert the microchip and do the test and all of that cost me another 85. So I am fundraising to help pay for those vet expenses. Um, we do have another cat from the same colony who is one of the older guys. I call these guys the OG dads. And the other guy also had a dental. He only has like three teeth left and his bill was $385. So um, I don't recoup any of the costs because these are feral cats. We are searching for barn homes for these guys um good barn homes but if we can't find them then they'll just have to be released back onto the street and they're a normal colony where we will feed them for the rest of their lives and take care of them but i i don't recoup any costs that i put into these guys for vet expenses and food expenses and it's really difficult for me as an individual to pay for these things every time they come up um it's never ending because these cats live on the street and they, you know, sometimes are fed well, sometimes not. It's really normal for cats to have bad teeth, kind of even if they're house cats. But I'm also not going to euthanize a cat when there's a completely fixable problem. And they can sustain life very well out on the street by us just feeding them wet food. Um, so that's the difference between me, or at least that's what I do, is... I do need to fundraise. I can't afford to pay for these guys and these medical expenses myself, but I also can't justify killing an animal for something that can be fixed and paid for. I just need your help. Every single dollar, every single 25 cents, every single penny counts. So Simba's Pride is the name of the organization. We take money, cash, check, credit card, Venmo, PayPal, Zelle, um, almost every possible way you can think of. And it 100% goes towards guys like this. I have a full-time job, so all of the money goes towards vet expenses. All of it. <laughs> and um, so if you want to help or if you can help, pay me a dollar to help Kevin pay for his medical expenses. He's going to be a much, much, much happier cat, this little guy. Let me see. I wonder if I can zoom in when I'm doing this. Let me see. if Because he's so cute. He's got his tongue out. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, look at him. What a cutie, huh? He's still a little out of it from the anesthesia. But um, he's kind of, he's happy and is warm. In his warm little cage here and... We have a towel down and making it all comfortable for him. So we'll feed him wet food and dry food. It's his cho oh, 